only time I probably consider repurchasing this is if you hold a gun to my head that I might consider. Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I haven't sat down in a while to film a video like this. Ugh, what is that? Okay, ugh. It feels so strange, but I'm so excited to be doing this video and I want to say welcome also to my new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing, watching, chilling out, vibing with me, interacting with me. I appreciate it so much. Today, I'm going to be doing another empties video. This is my second empties video. And I figured that we're close to the middle of the year and it's time to do an updated one. So these products are like between the five to six months old. And I've been using these since the start of the year. And there are some good ones. There are some bad ones. Stick around to see my full review on them. Quick, to the point, spicy, and everything will be linked below if you want to get any of these. I'm just going to go through these in no particular order. We have quite a few products here, so I want to just do this quickly. I think I have about 10 or 11 products here. I'm not quite sure, but it's time to stop hoarding these. It's time to let these go. So I am just going to give you guys like a quick review on every item. So first up is my go-to for razor bombs, ingrown hair, and this is tend skin this is like my fourth third or fourth bottle i i lost count that's how good it is this is really good this really helps with my razor bombs helps to fade them and to keep my ingrown hairs at bay after shaving and hair removal and this is really good my problem that i had with tend skin is that i was stuck in my old ways of hair removal which was like hair removal cream and shaving and because of that whenever the ingrown hairs disappear or the razor bumps disappear they came back so i have definitely give up on shaving for the time being and i'm doing strictly waxing you guys will see my waxing video so i have started waxing and that should help to keep my razor bumps my ingrown hairs at bay i've actually started seeing a massive difference already since i started waxing so this was good but if you're stuck with your old ways of hair removal then this will not work as much you have to change up your habits change up your ways exfoliate switch to something more gentle in terms of your removal and then this will work wonders i promise you this is my fourth bottle the next part that i'll be sharing with you guys is this dove even tone deodorant and i started using this i think probably september last year and i really had hopes for this i was really convinced that this will transform my underarm and help to feel like my dark spots and those razor bumps and this did not do ish for me it was a good deodorant but that was just it it was just a good deodorant it did not even out anything for me it did not lighten anything for me and maybe it worked for some persons Oh, you guys if you guys want to try it out you can and let me know if it has worked for you in the past in the comment section but this does not work for me and yeah so this is a no buy never again for this um so that's that next product i have is a facial cleanser and i actually bought this cleanser because of a tiktok that i saw well most of these products is because of a tiktok that i saw but this cleanser I was convinced that this cleanser would be so much better than my other cleanser. I was using Cetaphil cleanser for years and Cetaphil is like my go-to cleanser, but I wanted to switch it up a bit. I wanted to try something different and I found this, found out about this CeraVe Renewing SA cleanser and this is for normal skin. It says here that it gently cleanses and exfoliates while softening and smoothing the skin. This cleanser was so good. Like for one month straight, my breakouts, my acne was a bay. And I would break out like once a week. Ever since COVID and we started wearing masks, I was breaking out like once a week or a couple of times for the month. This kept my breakouts away and it is so gentle on the skin. It kept my skin clean, very cleansed and soft and rejuvenated i'm not sure about exfoliating i didn't think it did that much exfoliating for me but this was so good and 
empty will i repurchase it again maybe it's a maybe because i like to try new things and i'm sure other products are out there that can do this or more so like that's like my take on things but this is a maybe maybe i'll get it again but this was really good 7.5 out of 10 this was really good and it worked for me this next product is a cleanser and when i say this really changed my face my face has changed so much i really thought that i have tried it all and nothing works and i was about to see a dermatologist but this said stop listen one more try this really worked this also helps to keep my breakouts at bay my acne from acne up <laughs> so this prevented all of that and i would get like wild breakouts before my period and this really really helps to keep those down and keep those at the minimum i love this product so this product is called the urban skin cleansing bar and it's a three-in-one treatment it deep cleans pores and oily blemish prone skin this is what the packaging looks like and this is the jar and it is basically like a jar full of wax like soap so everything was melted into like one big product and yes i went wild with this it's completely empty and it comes with two pads that looks like this and these help to cleanse the face, exfoliate the face in a gentle way. And these are reusable, so I was able to wash them, allow them to dry, reuse them, and repeat. So these are really good. But this is a must buy. This I will get again and again. And I hope to also try more products from their line. But hello, this, like a lot of you guys reach out to me on Instagram and say, yo, this really works for you so i have persons who can attest to it that these do work and this was a 9 out of 10 9 out of 10 this was really really good this brand chef kiss good definitely going to be trying out more products from them so so good so next up we have some body washes and you guys i promised you guys in my last empties videos that i'm going to be using the dove body washes so much i'm going to get as many of them as i can and use them and wanting with me i don't promise and not deliver i'm going to deliver baby so i have been using numerous dove body washes since the start of the year and <laughs> I can't even hold them all up. <sighs> this, I've been using these since the start of the year and like I'm obsessed at this point. At this point, I'm collecting them like these are so good. Cleansing your skin smells so good, smells heavenly. These, <sighs> as a matter of fact, these are so good these have improved my shower routine like i would take maybe 10 to 15 minutes in the shower with these i am done within eight minutes and i'm clean i'm clean i'm telling you this has improved and has allowed my shower routine to be a lot more effective do love these and oh, everything here was just so good my least favorite one is this one and this one is like a shea butter and warm vanilla um, flavor. Would you say flavor? But I don't know. But this is my least favorite because it's so runny. The thing with these is that not every single one of them has the same quality and consistency in terms of the product. This was so runny. I hate when body washes are extremely runny. I need that like thick consistency with my body washes. This cucumber one, so, so good. Oh, this pistachio cream so so good and then this one is a jasmine petals oh this is evenly this is like my favorite this is my favorite then the cucumber then the pistachio cream oh, i'm not getting back this flavor it's just too runny and that's on that but these body washes like if you haven't started using dove body washes I'm not sure what, how much more convincing you need. I'm not sure what else you're waiting for. These are really good. Now I'm going to move into another body wash, but this time this is from Olay. And I don't know, 
I am not convinced with Olay body washes. Persons love them, other persons love them. Some of you guys love them so much. I'm not convinced. Like the scents are just so overpowering, and I just don't like the consistency of the wash. It just doesn't sud the right way for me. A body wash, and this is quite popular online, but I don't like it. It's called the Ultra Moisture Shea Butter Body Wash and this is what it looks like and i mean of course i use it it's empty but i would not buy this again i just hate the scent it's just so overpowering it kind of has this metallic zinc scent i don't know if that makes sense i just don't like it um but other persons do so i don't know this was like a four out of ten for me will not rebuy will not repurchase i'll stick to dove until I discover something new, but this is was not this was just not it for me. Up, we have two hair care products, and I have a shampoo and a conditioner, and that is pretty much it for this video. Those are my empties. So I wanted to try a natural hair brand, and I have been eyeing Cantu for a while, and I decided to try out their conditioner just to say that I tried out the Cantu product. I bought their natural hair shea butter hydrating cream conditioner and this did nothing for my hair nothing like it conditions well it softens my hair smells great from the get-go but that was just it um i guess that i guess it would have worked well if i used other products other contour products but this was just a one-time purchase never again like there is nothing about it that really would pull me in again that's just that i don't know if you like contour products then i don't know maybe you have something different to say but this did not work for me so yeah empty because i'm not going to waste my money but never again this was just bland the final product in this video oh my god this product i would not repurchase not the only time i probably consider repurchasing this is if you hold a gun to my head then i might consider consider repurchasing this but this product was the harshest harshest product i've ever used in my entire life and let me tell you guys something i have had a mild allergic reaction to this i did and i continued using it because i was hoping that it was just uh that's one of those one of those one-time things this product is so harsh on my hair and this is the head and shoulders shampoo and the funny thing is i have friends i have people around me who say this works for them this did not work for me this is supposed to help with like um dandruff this gave me dandruff, this gave me dry scalp, this gave me all the things that was wrong with my scalp from the get-go. This was so harsh on my hair, like, how can you have a product that is designated to help with dandruff and it's so harsh, it's so harsh, like, what the hell? And I think what makes it so harsh is the active ingredient, which is like a zinc ingredient at the back. This this dried out my hair this was so harsh and i would never repurchase this like point blank and i don't know what you guys have to say in the comments let me know what your experience is like with some of these that was just ah, so harsh but those are my empties for this year so far mm, i can finally throw these out now I've I have shared them. I have reviewed them. You guys can let me know what you think about these. If you have tried anything from this video, comment below and let me know what your experience was like using these. And subscribe, thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.